as they see the front straight for the very first time as they come to green. This is the Indianapolis 500 for everybody to see. Ready right here. A jumbled start. Scott Dixon gets the field woed up and then first to throttle. Dixon leads two young guns into turn one. Three wide around the outside. Elio Castro Neves making a move in turn two on Ryan Hunter Ray. He's working his way to the front. Great move from the three time champion Elio Castro Neves in that pink and black car. The first one that you will see. The white and red car is Ericsson looking for options. And Colton Herr, the 21 year old American, takes the lead of the Indy 500. Now BK. He's BK's going for the lead. A run on Herda. Absolutely. And he's going to pull it off, too. Renus BK said, I like. I think I'd like to lead the first lap, but he's going to lead lap two. And we'll get an answer here. How much fuel did Colton hurt to save following? VK probably coming to pit lane here. No indication that he will, so Colton Hurt has got to be careful here. He doesn't run over the back. There he comes. There goes VK. All right, Colton stays out. Dixon stays out. Carpenter out. This guy's burned the most Whoa. amount of fuel, and he's burning up his Firestones coming to the line. you got to watch that, that you don't come in too hot. Lock up those tires, Marty. Now you got to be careful, but here comes the, the leader, Colton Herta. Tell us more, Kev. Colton Herta did a great job in the first inning. He oh, maintained oh, position, boy, and he Stephen missed Wilson. his mark. Stefan Wilson is in a pit road accident. The front of that car is torn off. What has happened to this Lola Sport Honda? Well, this is really going to help the guys that stayed on, on track. It looks All like right, he lost it. Don't get out or anything. Lost it in the brakes, getting slowed down for the pit speed limit, hit the inside wall. But the and guys that stayed on track, this is really going to help them. White oh, car. he's going way oh, too fast. Boy. And he's locked up, locks the rears on a downshift. It's so easy to do as these cars come down from speed. They virtually have no downforce at 100 miles an hour with these little wings. Just disaster for the prohibitive race favorite, Scott Dixon, who had to come down pit road for emergency service. But when he came down pit road, the car ran out of fuel, and now it will not refire. They're on attempt like 12, 13 right there, trying to get the car to refire. And once these cars get heated, up they tend to not want to refire back up and that's what they're finding right now in the nine camp the team's so frustrated now they're going to take the entire engine cover off of the nine car the pace car in the field lapping scott dixon disaster for the nine marty it's it's fired back up townsend that is the key and they're trying to keep it running here for scott dixon trying to button up the engine cover as well meanwhile everybody else now is going to come back down pit road and finally get their service the car is fired for scott dixon you see alexander rossi he though getting emergency service as well the yellow black and blue car is the Game Bridge Honda of Colton Herter. Get ready, green, green, green. At the age of 21, already oh, a four-time race winner, but look at Rena's VK in the drive. There he comes. Right, right, comes. Now, right on your gearbox, just him. Honda versus Chevrolet. I wonder how oh. much VK's team said, hold up and save some gas as Hunter Ray goes to the inside. That's oh, Castro good. Neves. Elio, here comes Elio. Oh, oh look at the, the short shoot. Gets the door shut. And Alex Pelot in the white and blue 10 car made a move on Hunter Ray in the short shoot. Castro Neves at the age of 46 wants to be a four-time winner. He's not hanging around for anybody. Connor. Wheel to wheel with Connor Daly. Connor Daly squeezed him to the inside then squeezed him to the outside very aggressive maneuvering very early in the race the spider-man is back at the speedway bk right there Here we go. to the inside the this time he's, he's going to go now. through connor daly's going to go inside. with him two at once teammates with ed carpenter racing it's now a Chevy 1-2. And I think VK just couldn't help himself. He's like, man, I, I just can't go this slow. I have to make my move. This, has got, this has got 2019 all over it again. Look at this. Oh, Look at this. Oh, no. Hunter Daly. Hometown hero wants the lead. He's grown up here his whole life. He got a huge round of applause and driver introduction. The flying mullet is flying out in front. That's Elio Castro Neves in his 21st appearance here at the Indy 500. Here comes Connor Daly, peels off. Now Castro Neves is the leader as Connor Daly comes to pit lane to that 47 Air Force car. VK and Daly, another pass for the lead as they continue to exchange here as we work past halfway 
at the Indianapolis 500 lap 103 of the 200. So Danica Patrick are watching Connor Daly try to win here as they come towards the pits here and pit stops now which has been such a key strategy portion of this Indy 500 after the Stefan Wilson crash and the incident I should say in the pit lane on lap 35 down to Dave for the pit stops. Mike Connor Daly told his team I'm trying not to be a complete roadblock but give you the number you want they told him we are seeing that number he's made it to lap 103 balance is good on this car Marty and Connor Daly worked perfectly with his teammate Renus VK and I think VK is back in the game here if you can get to lap 101 which they did they're pitting here at lap 103 you can make it in two more stops after this so Renus VK the race might not be over yet Mike as they pit should only face two more stops. Colton Herter on Joseph Newgarden. Whoa, whoa. Big block, big block by Newgarden. Then he cut back across in front of him to the outside. Colton Herter loses a little bit of speed there. Ryan Hunter Ray getting a run on him here on, on the back straight. Everybody's blending. Everybody's stacking back up. They pitted at different times, but now they're finding each other again on the racetrack. All these battles for position. That's McLaughlin in the yellow Pennzoil car out of the pits just in front of Colton Herta. Herta said that was a rude move by Newgarden on the front straightaway. There you see the battle up front. That's Alex Pelot that will resume the lead. Castro Neves in second in the black and pink Auto Nation Sirius XM, and then Pato O'Ward. Those are the three front runners. Two Hondas leading a Chevy. And for Alex Pillow and the guy running right there, Pato O'Ward, they both became first time winners. Oh, oh, Ray, Ray, Hall. Ray Hall lost it out of the pits. Cold right tires. Right in front of the leaders. That was. Oh, oh, a tire was hit. And That's a tire okay. went into the infield. He was coming out and trying to hustle it on the warm up lane, and it's so easy to do. Cold tires, narrow track, and he lost it right in front of the field, and it was a hard hit into the wall. The last time we saw that was Alex Sinardi, and luckily for Graham Rahal, nobody yeah, collected all. him. He came out and spun in front of Palo and Castro Neves in award. That and was, there's that tire. That's good news. That tire that was hit, you see it down there. He's a little worried that might climb the fence. And glad to see Graham Rahal climb out under his own power. Well, but who hit, it? who hit that tire, though? You, you know what this does, guys? This resets the whole fuel issue because everybody now, I think, is going to come in and top up again, I would think. No, they just made a stop. So I think only if you're at the back oh. like Rossi and Dixon. Look. And Connor Daly is the one to answer your question, Lee. And I think he might be all right. I just don't know if that front main plate is going to hold up. Graham Rahal can't believe it. He knew he had a potentially race-winning car. This is the pit stop. So the Rahal Letterman Lanigan crew go to work as they do on the United Rentals Honda, grabbing a tear off off the aero screen. Everything's going normal. They oh, don't see anything. Wait untoward. a second. Hang on. Oh, this was not a mistake from Graham Rahal. I don't think that left I rear think was the tight. Wheel. Yeah, I think the wheel came off, and that's why it got hit. Look, not his fault at oh, all. Oh, it did. Oh, my gosh. And then that tire rolled out into the middle of the track, bounced off the wall, right into Connor Daly's path, oh. and he hit it like a football. Nothing Graham Ray Hall could do. We thought he lost it, and he didn't. He just lost the left rear. Now watch this. Here you're going to see. Boom. And that is, um, without the, the, the arrow screen, the potential for that to be catastrophic is, is very high. On board with Connor Daly. Oh, terrifying. I mean, Graham still is just, he cannot believe what happened. He had the car, he had the position. They saved the fuel. Just an absolute gut punch. The biggest race in the world. Cleanup complete, and it is time to bring the action here at the Indianapolis 500. Chip Ganassi Racing's Spanish star, Alex Palo, winner of the season opener, leads the field to green, but watch the orange and black Chevy in third. Here comes Pato Award on Elio Castro Neves. Neves, Castro Neves pulls out to take the lead again. Pato oh, Award has side to by in. side, VK on New. So that was a bold move. Sato up high, Herder down low. Harvey on the inside of Will Power. Wheel to wheel in 
two. Will Power runs a little bit high. He's gonna lose another position to James Hinchcliffe. James Hinchcliffe now trying to draft up on the back of Jack Harvey, but his teammate out front, Pato Award, now slides into second place. Listen to the crowd roar as Elio Castro Neves chases his fourth win. Further back, all kinds of action. Pato Award for the lead. This young Mexican's not hanging about. This is how he won his one and only IndyCar race a couple of weeks ago at Texas Motor Speedway, straight to the front and took off. There it is there, the blue and white machine. Oh, oh. Pelo to the lead, Castro Neves goes to second on the inside of O'Ward. I'll tell you what this does right now, double point. Scott Dixon now goes from first to fifth in the championship, 72 points behind his teammate, the number 10 of Alex Pelo now, who's out in the lead. Let's see how Pato Award blends out after that pit stop on the back straightaway. Bunch of cars fighting for position with Award, oh, but Power. first we've got Will Power backwards in Simon Pagano's pit box. Tell you what, I was just gonna say, these, these last two stops are the critical stops. If you make a mistake now on pit road or have a problem getting on or off pit road, your race is virtually over. Now, Will Power is backwards, well short of his pit box. This is game over for him now. My goodness, what has happened on pit road today? First, Stefan Wilson. Look at this. Then we saw Scott McLaughlin nearly lose it. Award and Palo, the two first time winners this year, into turn one. That's the battle for 12th right now, but we think that could be the battle for the lead after everybody else pits. So these are the front runners. Castro Neves there in third. Pato Award in that black and orange car. Well, have a look at this. Is look at Award thinking about it again. Castro Neves goes back to the front. Fastest lap of the race. Pagano on that lap, 223.7 miles an hour. He is absolutely flying right now. And has more fuel fresher tires than the others. He last pitted on lap 176. Hello on the inside of Elio again. Nothing new there. Here comes Pagano inside McLaughlin. If they were smart with McLaughlin out of fuel, he lets him go by. So Pagano now is in the mix. Did you see Felix Rosenquist coming to pit road? He gives up the lead. Now just to Kumasato on that strategy as Elio Castro Neves goes for the lead lead. I think this is exactly where you want to be now if you're Palo Townsend. I think you want to sit here until two laps to go. Yeah. Let Castro Neves tow you around and set it up. See what his moves are going to be. Five laps to go. Back, look at your outside. Here comes Palo. We got team cars up there that could help their teammates win the biggest race in the world. Oh, yeah. In his oh, 21st yeah. Indy 500. Oh, we go. yeah. It's here on. We go. Castro Neves can do it, I think. Here we go. Two laps to go, two. Here it comes. Outside, that is bold. Oh, Turn one, up. Elio. Don't lose too much ground, Palo. Get back in line, get down low, get some clean air on your wing, get a run, set it up for the last lap. Paul, I think Castro Neves has to start driving the line. He doesn't normally run, which is all the way down over the white line. Take the air away from Palo to the inside. Don't let him get oh, any more front though. grip than he needs. He's right there, Castro Neves. Oh, look at all this lap traffic oh, now. Boy. Lap traffic will become a factor as they come up on these. Look at that pack of lap cars going slow. My this is going to be crazy. Flag, flag. My goodness. Elio Castro Neves has to weave his way through here under the ultimate pressure. Got to set this up. Pelot's got to just back it off here and set this up off of turn two. This is where it's going to happen. Final lap out of turn two. Onto the back stretch for the final time. Can Castro Neves weave his way around? Will a move that Ryan Hunter Ray put on him many years ago? He sticks behind RHR. Now here, Pelo. Pelo gets closer. There's a four time win on the line for Elio Castro Neves. Look at the crowd. They know history's on the line. Welcome to the four time club, Elio Castro Neves. That is awesome. Wow, look at that. Holding up all four, Elio Castro Neves goes into history. With authority, Paul. He did it with authority. He choked off the bottom lane on the last lap of the last corner to take the air away from Pelot and claim his fourth victory. And he did it in the 
boldest way possible, Lee, going outside. In turn one. Outside turn one. On old tires, fantastic. Hi, I'm Kyle Petty. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest NASCAR news and highlights. And don't miss NASCAR American Motor Mouse every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. on Peacock. Go to PeacockTV.com or download the app from the App Store or Google Play.